Today we're gonna to talk about what happens to a bullet when it hits a hardened steel target. Does it ricochet, does it not? Shooting hardened steel targets is becoming more and more popular these days. Yet we still get a ton of questions from people wondering about ricochet. So today I wanna to show you exactly what happens when you shoot an AR-500 steel target so you can feel safe. The first thing I wanna show you is some footage from a high-speed camera. This is footage at one million frames per second from Werner Mel. They have a YouTube video where they show bullets being fired at a ton of different objects, and you should definitely check it out. But watch this little clip of it hitting hardened steel. The bullet liquefies when it hits the target, and notice how the fragments splash outward in a perpendicular angle. Honestly, I could watch this all day long. It's so fascinating. But let me show you another way to look at this. This is a hang and hook target setup from Yankee Thunder with 3 8 inch thick AR-500 steel targets from one of our other videos. Okay, now I'm going to slow this down and take it frame by frame. I want you to notice the dirt below the target. You can actually see a perfectly straight line where the fragments splash down. It's actually amazing. And I want you to notice something else. You can see the dirt move before the target does, or at least at the same time. That's because the mass of the bullet is so small compared to the target, and it's moving so fast that the energy transfer takes time to move the much larger target. So the fragments splash out faster because they have less mass. As you can see, the most dangerous place to be standing is actually perpendicular to the target. The splatter goes out in all directions, basically at a 90 degree angle. But if you're using hardened steel, the splash does not come back towards you. This is why police officers practice on these targets even at fairly close range. Now, you should still use all the safety gear, and I'm not saying you shouldn't be safe. You could still miss the target and hit a rock or something else and have a ricochet. Also, you should never use stainless steel or any other steel, really, or metal that has not been hardened, like AR-500 steel. That is a softer metal, and bullets can actually behave erratically and even ricochet off of that if it's not hardened. But if you're shooting that AR-500 or 550 steel, you can expect the bullets to kind of vaporize on contact. And there's nothing like hearing that clang of success when you do hit it. Hey, if you like this video, consider subscribing to our channel to get more cool stuff. Also, if you're in the market for some AR-500 steel targets, check out our store at yankeethunder.com.